I'm back. Episode three. Daily vlog number three. I need some water. I recently was lucky enough to, to purchase my dream car. Yeah, I was looking at a couple different options, which I'm going to tell you about in this video. Also, this new good, good gear. Look at this new hat that's coming. It's also going to be coming. I'm excited for that to come. But yeah, I'm going to Chipotle. That's going to be my first meal of the day. Again, I'm taking you through a lot of what I eat throughout these vlogs, uh, starting with a 950 calorie burrito with 55 grams of protein. I'm letting myself eat Chipotle like twice a week or so. <laughs> The new good good dog right here, Luis. The new good good dog. Get some sick paws. He does have some nice paws, doesn't big, he? Yeah. Yo, I can actually do earlier now because golf got canceled today. Oh, what time works for you? When do you want to do it? I'm not doing it. I mean, I can either do. I, mean, I feel good right now. You, you can make it right now if you wanted to. I could hop in the car and come over. I'll be there in like 25 minutes. It was one of those. It was one of those today. It's quite literally, I think it's better than a long list of things. Say a really good pump. I mean, it's better than a lot of things for sure. Um, how do you get a protein shake now and uh, get back to the house, do a cold plunge? Before I go get a shake, I didn't film the whole workout, but we did chest and back. We started warming up the body. Uh, we did three sets of some warm ups. Um, we moved on to a super set between a back exercise, like laying over. We did a back exercise, and then we did a chest exercise, incline dumbbell right after. And then we we went over, we did some more chest, we did some flies supersetted with bench. We went lightweight on bench, more reps, close grip. Then we went to some back, some pull downs on the back exercise. Finished with some incline Smith machine. We went heavy, we did low reps, heavy weight, and finished after that with some pull ups. Which surprisingly, after all of that, my pull-ups were still solid. I got like 12 reps the first couple sets, 10 reps the last set, and it felt very controlled. So, body is feeling good. It's feeling stronger than it's felt in quite some time, which is like, it's hard to explain like, and I don't even know if you guys care that much, but like, I just have not felt somewhat good in the gym in so long. And in the last like month or so, I've really been working hard to get my health back and just having progress every day is like the best feeling. I don't need that much progress. I don't need to be ripped right away. I don't need to be jacked. That's not what I need. I just wanna see some progress and right now I'm seeing progress, I'm feeling progress and it feels good. And I'm happy that I'm taking you guys with me. I've been having to mentally prepare for this one for a minute. It's at 39 degrees. It's by far the coldest I've ever done. I've done 42. I already know it's gonna be cold but I'm trying to convince myself that it's not gonna to be too bad. I'm gonna try and do one minute. <laughs> I feel like my dick is retracted inside of my body. What is the question? I pose the question. So Team USA just lost to Germany in the FIBA WBC World yeah, yeah. Championships. Okay, whatever team is in the championships, Screw the other team. It's us four. Jordan, Sebastian, Blake, and myself, plus LeBron versus them. They think our team's gonna put up 60. No, 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 no shot. Five, zero. 50 points. LeBron's giving us at least 25. From I don't think so. You don't think LeBron's gonna Because I think they're gonna at least double team LeBron. They're gonna double LeBron. So LeBron is double in the league. LeBron is double in the league. And if he's double the whole game, that means someone's. Brother, but you're telling me mm. four versus three of six foot seven I don't know. in the world. We are not dropping 25. That means somebody's <laughs> open There's no shot. Give a shot over four quarters. Can you give me two three points? If we played if we played four versus three on a three-man zone against them, we would not score ten. That is, that is cap. That is cap. That is cap. Do you think we're actually scoring points against I, I don't know. I, with LeBron, I think so. I think your team will score points. Yeah. Do I think you guys will score points? No. Maybe if they're triple teaming him and someone's exactly. open by the rim, exactly. sure. That's what I'm saying. He's Maybe. Double team. You're sitting perimeter, I'm sitting perimeter. I'm your ball. Sitting middle, we can easily get some There's shots. There's no way we don't get some shots off. Because <laughs> these guys are six foot seven. Can you hit two threes over four points? I don't know, dog. <laughs> 
I'm curious to see what you guys think about that. We're over 80,000 um, subscribers on the vlog channel, which means we're within 20,000 of the 100,000 subscriber goal. So if you guys haven't already hit the subscribe button, it does go a long way. I'd much appreciate it. Guys, I've had a lot of questions about my car and I'm gonna give you guys like a little brief tour of, of what I got. First off, thank you all. Uh, thank you all for watching me through the years. Uh, since 2016 is when I started. I've always had a dream to one day like make a purchase of a nice car and recently I was fortunate enough to to get my dream car and it, and it really is it's all because you guys watching the content like still crazy to me like every single day when I wake up and like get to play golf and show you guys what I do um, on the golf course it's like it's pretty surreal and it like doesn't make sense that I'm even here and able to make this video but here we are so I'll give you guys a little tour of of what I got, I was looking at a couple different options uh, when I was going to buy a car. I looked at an R8, an RS Q8, both Audi. Then I had a friend send me this car. He sent me a picture of it and I said, that's the car I'm buying. I went and test drove it, loved the way that it drove, and uh, I bought it two days later. All right, here you go. The BMW XM, it, it's it's really cool at night, the lights, the way they line up, like this right here. I don't like know a whole ton about this car, but <laughs> I'm gonna tell you, I guess, everything that I do know. Lighting's not great right now. I went with the dark charcoal gray with red interior, so I'll show you that next. Red leather interior, guys. Uh, I stepped into the car, I loved it, and then I also looked at the ceiling. And when I looked at the ceiling, I was like, okay. <laughs> Kinda looks like a spaceship. There's a lot of little features about this car that I'm still like figuring out every single day, because it, it like quite literally feels like a spaceship there's so much going on this right here was a huge reason as well as why i bought it is the back seats there's a ton of room and whenever we're like driving places i always feel like i'm a driver for for all the boys and so also it came with pillows which is just it's kind of crazy i don't i don't know why but shout out to bmw for making this car come with pillows yeah like whenever we're driving places i feel like i'm always the driver for the boys and so it's why i didn't end up going with a two-seater like an r8 which eventually one day later on down the road i'm sure i'll probably want to buy another car but for now like this is really practical it's it's very nice and practical because i'm also able to store a lot of stuff in this trunk there's a ton of space, you can take this off. Plenty of room to store golf clubs, which is a big importance to me, obviously, because we play golf every single day, pretty much. I wish I was more of a car guy for you guys, so I could give you, I guess, more of like a review of everything, all the, uh, the details of the car and like all the cool little tricks that it has on it. Pretty cool thing, a pretty cool thing that I noticed about this car is there's like a massive screen that just extends across here. Again, there's a lot of things about this car that I'm sure you can find online. There's plenty of reviews of the XM. I'm not super big into like all the details electronically with the car, all the different things that you can do, all the... I will say one thing that's really cool is the cup holder can heat and cool drinks, which is just another pretty wild concept to me. It's a hybrid car, so when I fully charge it, I get 31 miles on just the uh, on just the battery so if I wanted to drive it fully electric I could for 30 miles I mostly just drive it in sport and so I never really charge it because when I'm driving it in sport and I press the brakes it actually charges the battery there's the car guys BMW XM again thank you all for for making this possible <laughs> 